By now you guys have probably read the title of this video and you're probably saying to yourself, where the hell have you been? Well, I've been on vacation, but I'm back now. But I, I'm taking a little break. I'm extending the break because I want to clean off this wall. The green screen is not on today. Uh, this is basically just a, a personal video to you guys. I am on break, but I will be back this weekend. Uh, I just wanted to clean the green screen, give it a nice clean wash, iron it out, make it nice and clean. Um, but as you see by the title, yes, I am leaving Apple, but not in the way you think. Now, I'm not going to make this video about, oh, Apple's this and that. It's not going to be one of those videos saying, oh, Apple is the worst, Android's the best. No, it's not that at all. The reason that I'm switching over to Android is I'm getting very, very annoyed lately. Every time I use the iPhone, I just, for me, my experience as a consumer has gone down. And I've looked at the Galaxy Note 10 and Note 10 Plus from the pr event. And ever since I went there and saw them, I've always wanted the Note 10 Plus. I got convinced to try the Note 10 Plus. And of course, there is a special gimmick going on. If you trade in your iPhone, you can get um, money towards it. So that's another reason. But mostly the reason that I am switching is only the phone. I'm not switching tablet. I'm not switching speakers, Apple TV, iPad, or anything computer. I'm just switching phone and watch because first of all, I want to try Android. I've always wanted to try it. I've heard a lot of things about it. So this is the perfect opportunity for me to get into it. That's one. Number two, I really think the note fits my needs and wants in terms of productivity in creativity and most of all portability powerhouse of an Android phone. It's like the Swiss army knife of Androids. The quote is from Jerry Riggs. Just wanted to put that out there. But the main important thing, the reason why I'm switching, is because I want to try something else, the other ecosystems. So Samsung relatively has an ecosystem going with tablets, headphones, watch, uh, and a couple of other things. But I'm only going to be focusing on the smartphone aspect. And I really want to try it out. So I am still going to be with Apple, technically. I still am going to have an iPad, a MacBook, the HomePods, and an Apple TV. So I'm still in the Apple ecosystem, just not with the phone. So you got to live with that. But beyond that, honestly, I'm excited. I'm getting the Note 10 Plus. I'm going over to Android, like I said, and I really want this to work out. So the goal is I'm going to try it out for a month. I'm not only going to review the phone, but I'm going to review it as an Apple user. I've been using Apple since 2006 when my uncle brought home the black MacBook and then in 2007 when he brought home the first iPhone. I never owned these, so don't get any ideas. I know what you're thinking. You're probably saying they gave you a phone at seven years old. No, they never gave me that. They gave me an iPod, an iPad, and a shuffle. That was what I had growing up. But I want to try out Android. I've always wanted to pick the right phone, and so far the Note 10 is looking to be that phone. Now, of course, there is a lot of controversies with the headphone jack being removed. Uh, for me, I'm not too crazy about that because I have gone wireless, and if I do use an adapter, it's probably just for this microphone that you're seeing. Um, so yeah, there is going to be a little delay in videos because that is also, like I told you, that's my primary camera. I will let you know how filming is, how the experience is filming videos, and how that looks. But Overall, I just want you guys to know that I am going all in on Android. I'm going all in on Samsung and I really want this to work out. So I want to hear your thoughts though. Before I set up the phone and before, I don't even know if it'll be available tomorrow because I know they were selling pretty good. So they may not have the exact phone that I'm looking for. It may take a little while, but I am getting the phone regardless. So I want you guys to comment down below in your opinions. Should I use Bixby or should I use Google Assistant? Uh, should I use Samsung Pay, Google Pay? Tell me your advice as a Samsung user. If anybody out there uses Samsung, please let me know your thoughts down below. What is your preferred smart assistant, uh, preferred pay, everything like that. And any tweaks and stuff you could recommend for me uh, with the phone, definitely let me know down below. So that is going to do it for this video. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, guys. Videos will be back. I'll be making a long video this weekend covering every single Apple rumor that came out. And oh boy, we got a lot to talk about with that one. So I will see you guys this weekend and peace.